The Patriots were back on the practice field in full pads on Wednesday, and our George Blechie and Nesson Patriots beat writer Zach Cox have more from Foxborough. George Blechie here with Zach Cox back at Patriots training camp. Zach, we saw the full pads come back out today. More exciting for me, competition levels finally ramping up. Full contact in 11 on 11 drills, red zone, goal line work. We saw plenty, but also a big step forward for the offense. Absolutely. I would say the Patriots defense was really the, the better unit for the first three, four, five days of training camp. Uh, a lot of those sessions were geared a little bit more toward defensive success than offensive success, but this was really a good day for the offense. It was easily their best of the summer so far. Mac Jones looked good, only two incompletions, one of those coming on a late throwaway. Uh, had a strong connection with Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, worked well with the tight ends. We saw a couple good plays uh, to Devontae Parker. Uh, some real excitement from the offense, too, uh, as you alluded to there. Some dancing from Mac Jones, some, some celebrating uh, by the receivers and other members of the offense after the play. Uh, this, obviously, the Patriots offense is the main focal point uh, of this training camp after what happened with that group last year. Uh, it certainly seems like they're moving in the right direction uh, under Bill O'Brien right now. Yeah, and you mentioned Devontae Parker, Juju Smith-Schuster, two of the top weapons for the offense, stepping up, scoring touchdowns. Juju telling us act after practice, he credits that to them moving from installing plays to really putting mm -hmm. things into motion. And, hey, a big storyline today is still, though, no Trent Brown, no Mike Onwenu, who has been the case. No Cole Strange. We've seen a lot of rookies step up on the offensive line and also on the outside of receiver. Uh, yeah, really seeing rookies step up uh, at a lot of different positions right now. You mentioned offensive line. We're, we've seen Antonio Maffi, the fifth-round pick out of UCLA, work in a lot uh, at some of those interior O-line positions. The Patriots hope that he's not going to be somebody who has to start right away because they're hoping that those guards are going to be Cole Strange and Mike Wenu, but he's worked in there, certainly a powerful guy uh, in the middle. Uh, on the outside, Demario Douglas has really been one of the stars of training camp so far. We've talked about him a lot. But Kayshawn Booty, the Patriots' other sixth-round, rookie wide receiver really flashed for the first time in camp I was pretty disappointed with what I had seen him from him so far in the spring and the summer but looked great on in one-on-one -on -one drills today beat Christian Gonzalez on one of them beat Jonathan Jones on another those may very well be the Patriots two starting cornerbacks when the season begins uh, and also hauled in his first catch from Mac Jones in competitive drills later on in practice said he's finally feeling a little bit more comfortable uh, after what he called a slow start in camp uh, with him the talents there that's a former five-star recruit was a really good player early in his career at LSU uh, long way to go for him but definitely some encouraging progress from the Patriots you know going and missing out on DeAndre Hopkins a true number one they certainly have a good luxury of plenty of receiver depth Demario Douglas you point him out too we got the joy of watching one-on-one -on -one drills between receivers and D-backs at one point Demario Douglas breaking Sean Wade's ankles and getting clear separation on a catch now all this offensive glory today Patriots without their best player. Ramondre Stevenson still limited role, which has kind of been the case so far. And he shared with us today, it looks like it's workload management. How do you read that coming for the Patriots now, RB1? Uh, yeah, Patriots first padded practice on Monday. Highly limited Ramondre Stevenson. Uh, and then again in their second padded practice today, uh, he basically didn't do much of anything again. He said, He's good. It's not an injury issue. He he's not nursing anything or dealing with anything. It's pure. I mean, if, to use an NBA term, it's load management, it seems, uh, at this point in the summer for Ramondre Stevenson. The Patriots clearly believe he's best suited just staying on that side field, doing some conditioning work, staying fresh, uh, rather than getting those reps and potentially exposing himself to injury. Uh, on one hand, it, it makes sense because if this Patriots offense, with how this running back group is constructed, if it loses Ramondre Stevenson, that's going to be a major problem. Uh, but it's a departure from really how the Patriots uh, have always handled practice in these kind of situations. Typically with Bill Belichick, if you're healthy, you're going to be out there practicing. You're at least going to be kind of in there, uh, maybe he limits your workload a little bit like we saw with people like Devin McCourty and Matthew Slater last uh, summer, but you, we have not seen these kind of full, essentially veteran rest days uh, for players really uh, that I can recall from Bill Belichick. So it's certainly been uh, a change in how they usually handle things. Montre Stevenson doesn't sound like he really likes it all that much. Uh, he said after practice that he's itching to get back out there in these full padded, full contact periods. Uh, and he said you're basically going to have, have to ask Bill Belichick 
why he's not doing so. But uh, it's the, the safe approach, I would say. Uh, but it's definitely a departure from what we're used to seeing. Yeah, at one point, Zach and I standing next to each other watching the practice field. We saw Pierre Strong, Kevin Harris, J.J. Taylor going through running back drills. Strong and Harris, I like the way they look. They look faster this year, certainly can catch the ball. But, yes, again, that's just second-year backs and J.J. Taylor. We haven't seen much. Not a lot of dependability there. But going into the Ramondre thing, what does this tell you about Bill Belichick? He's kind of modernizing a little bit, giving Devin McCourty veteran days last year. Ramondre Stevenson looking out for him and saying, hey, it's about the long-term effect, not just go all out all season long, do your job, whatever the culture may be. You've definitely seen a shift. Uh, and you mentioned earlier as well, Matthew Judon also hasn't yeah. done a whole lot in this training camp. Trent Brown has not done a, lo a whole lot in these last couple of days. I believe today was the third straight day uh, where he basically didn't do anything in competitive drills. There might be some contract ramifications there, especially for uh, for Matthew Judon, who reportedly is hoping that he can get a new deal done before the season. Uh, but yeah, again, it's just a, a different approach than we've seen for years from Bill Belichick. I mean, that that was always the uh, uh, the kind of M.O. for the Patriots, and, and some players didn't like it. Rob Gronkowski's talked about how he didn't like it, that if you're here and if you're healthy, you're going to practice. You don't get veteran rest days. Uh, you don't kind of have that type of tailored workload. Uh, but that's exactly what we've seen so far in this camp. Yeah, interesting. I mean, Bill Belichick getting modern with it, but certainly the offense we're take, seeing take a step forward. And notably, Ramondre Stevenson did sit out when they went through a non-competitive two-minute drill, he was on the field taking reps with the offense. All right, for George Bloodshe and Zach Cox, that's all for Patriots training camp. Make sure to stay locked on on Nesson.com, Nesson360, for full coverage for him, him, and Dakota Randall. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.